वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रकाश पाटिल ब्रेन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगावी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशंस लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ ऑर्डर 4 ऑफ होमोजेनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व हियर इन दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन the right hand side is a zero that's what is called homogeneous and the solution is nothing but only cf okay then to find out that cf we would find out the roots of this differential uh, y quadratic equations to find out that first auxiliary equation how to write my auxiliary equation is 4m raised to 4 minus 8m cube minus 7m square plus 11m plus Six equal to zero is my auxiliary equation. By replacing d by m, I am going to get. Now, as it is a bi-quadratic equation, from the calculator, all the four roots I cannot find out. To do the find out the roots, by I will use the synthetic division method. But before applying synthetic division method, at least one of the root I should know to find out the other roots. Okay. Therefore, by trial and error method, I will find out the one of the root. Okay, how to find out that trial and error method then? Okay, as six is constant term, constant term. The factors of six are the factors of six are plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, and plus or minus six. Okay, constant term is a six here. Its factors. the roots are lying between in between these these terms okay therefore let me try and check one of the root from this one therefore let at m is equal to plus 1 first at m is equal to plus 1 let me check therefore m equal to plus 1 4 into 1 raised to 4 minus 8 into 1 raised to 3 minus 7 into m 1 square Plus eleven into one plus six. That is nothing but four minus eight minus seven plus eleven plus six. Therefore, it becomes six plus four. Ten. Ten plus eleven twenty one. Twenty one minus fifteen will become six, which is not equal to zero. Therefore, m equal to one is not the root of this equation. To find out another, let me check for m equal to minus one now. M equal to minus one. Let me check in the same equation. That is four into minus one raised to four minus eight into minus one cube minus seven into minus one square plus eleven into minus one plus six. That is minus one raised to four will become plus four minus one cube will become minus one. Therefore, it is plus eight minus one square will become Plus one, therefore it is minus seven, minus eleven, plus six. Again, let me check what I am going to get. Six plus four ten, ten plus eight eighteen, eighteen minus eighteen equal to zero. Therefore, therefore m equal to minus one is one of the root, one of the four roots. Okay. to find out other three roots the by quadratic i will reduce it into cubic first then i will find out the roots that is synthetic division method therefore i will write the coefficients of that by quadratic that is 4 minus 8 minus 7 11 and 6 this is divided synthetically by minus 1 am equal to minus 1 i will choose here okay therefore first time it is 4 i will continue as it is 4 into minus 1 minus 4 therefore will become minus 12 minus 12 into minus 1 will become plus 12 plus 12 plus 7 minus 7 will become 5 5 into minus 1 minus 5 11 plus 5 minus 5 will become 6 6 into minus 1 will become minus 6 therefore it is a zero and the remaining terms are nothing but the coefficients of cubic equation Therefore, four m cube, four m cube minus twelve m square 
plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. By quadratic, I have reduced to cubic equation. Then there are three roots of this cubic equation I have to find out. Okay, I will write it and come back here. Okay, one root is minus 1, other three roots are cubic equation. This cubic equation can be solved by calculator now. Okay, in calculator, I will go to the equation mode, option number 5. In that option number 5, cubic equation is the fourth option. In that, the coefficients are to substitute. A is equal to 4, B is minus 12, C is 5, and D is equal to 6. And then, 1 plus equal to, we get the roots. Okay, then it is, M is equal to minus 1 by 2. That is first root. Next root, 2. Another root, 3 by 2, plus 3 by 2. Okay, you can just observe here, plus 3 by 2. 3 by 2 and already m equal to minus 1 is there. Therefore, total 4 roots. All the 4 roots are real and distinct roots. Therefore, the CF general solution general solution y is equal to CF complementary function I can write it as C1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus 1 by 2x plus c3 e to the power 2x plus c4 e to the power 3 by 2x okay this is what i can write the cf or general solution for the biquadratic equation as the right hand side is zero the cf itself will become the general solution of this one like this some more examples on non-homogeneous differential equation i am going to solve in my next videos if you not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos. Like this video, comment and also share this video. Thank you friends.